Morning. I've been up since half four. We even recorded some episodes that are both terrible for different reasons, don't we? Right. I don't know what you want. You have food that you can eat. The pain in the backside you are. Right. No, no cancer. No cancer. Noodles eating the food. Noodles eating the food. Yeah. I don't know what that finish was, but I don't think anyone particularly cares about Big Bubba. Right. A rondio! Today's one is a rondio. A rondio is good. A rondio fits inside my big Costa mug. Or well, my little Costa mug. I don't know. Oh, lots of clippy. Lots of clippy. It looks like you're trying to write a letter. Would you like some help? Oh, God, it really is. It's not stopping. So yeah, we've been up since about half four, haven't we? Well, I've been up since half four. You were asleep at the time. And, um... Yeah. Let's, see, let's get a picture of that one. The Arondio. The most... I mean, it's not brown, at least. It's just a silver one. Do you want to hold a pod? It's okay. Do you want to hold this? This one's purple. That's an Altissio. It's very tasty. Oh! Nope. Okay. You just, you don't want to hold things, you want to knock them out of my hand. Oh, I might need some more water. Right! Yeah, so you played some Monster Hunter. Which didn't wake you up very much. For me... Doing silly voices along to Last Bible 3. Now that woke you up. You're very grumpy about me doing that. The thing is about you waking up is you're very violent when you wake up. I've never known a baby so violent when they wake up. So strong. That's the thing. Your sister, your big sister, she's got abs. She's got four-year-old abs. And you... Oh God, you're going to have biceps the size of Bournemouth. It's crazy. The strong girls I've got. Alright. Now, can I trust you not to knock this out of my hand? No, nope, of course not. Of course not. Do I need to carry this copy? Right. If I set up Cowie so we can sit next to each other while I have this coffee, are you going to do what you did the other day and catapult yourself face first into something painful? Because I don't want that. Oh! Oh. <clears throat> Something about the Taskmaster and I'm watching WCW Nitro. Oh, oh, well. uh, it's not the best bit of this episode, it's already happened. Oh oh it's it's Chris Benoit versus Eddie Guerrero. It's well yeah, well they're always a good match, but it's always very uncomfortable because you're like well, one of them, their heart exploded, which led to the other one to commit suicide and then murder his family. Well, murder his family and then commit suicide. You don't commit suicide, then murder your family, do you? That's not how it works. You do it the other way around. I don't think there was... I don't think there was a zombie Canadian wrestler. Although, actually, I don't know what nationality the zombie was. Oh, oh reference to... Oh. Yeah, I think it might be the first episode of that. 
Oh, I've seen it. It's a match. Yeah. Well. Oh. So when the so when the WWE brought back ECW because they owned everything. They own everything. You know. Why people don't really take competition to them that seriously because they often end up owning everything at the end. Or more, there was a period where they just sort of bought out all the competition. Anyway, so, ah, oh no, my bum. Anyway, so, Flicky D. Yeah, I think it was the first episode of ECW on sci- the Sci Fi Channel. I'm going to put a cushion there in case you do a giant lunge forward. Yeah? Well, I want to have this coffee. Um, but yeah, first match, I think, because the Sci Fi Channel wanted crazy gimmicks. And I'm pretty sure it was the first match, which was the zombie against the Sandman. And people did not take kindly to it. But yeah, just random bloke in zombie outfit. Not too bad, you know. I think there's some fun to be had with it. Hmm. So Arondia is not crazy bitter. Got a bit of a body to it. Yeah. Um. Let's turn that down. Because um, they're just gonna be selling the next pay per view because this is a go home show. Yeah. Yeah. In my opinion, the actual main plot of the early days of Nitro is from the first episode onwards. It's a love story between Lex Luger and Sting. There's that whole period where they're a tag team and one's a heel, one's a face, but you know, and they have all their like struggles through that and now now it's the other way round and Sting as being mysterious and you know, impersonating excellent graphic novel well not excellent graphic novel but charming graphic novel The Crow also I'm guessing the Brandon Lee film had come out at this point do you think that? I think so yeah anyway so it's all about Lex Luger and Sting's relationship it does just just stop getting mentioned at some point but that's a bit I like. Um, anyway, Arondio has got like a nice body to it. Yeah, it's quite a nice sit down and drink one. Yeah? You have opinions about coffee? Oh, okay. Do you have opinions about rest? Yeah, you seem pretty glued. That... You're a big fan of screens. I'm really going to have to watch out for that. Yeah, because you're awake when the screens come on. The screens only come on after Cassie goes to bed, but you're awake then, because you're always awake. Uh. Yeah, we've got some potential issues going on here. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, no, that Arondio is really nice. So I find that, like, Arondio and oh, the other Gran Lungo, which is just sort of silvery grey. They're a bit... I don't know, it seems to depend on how your, your machine's behaving. But, yeah. I bet they're biscuity. That's what I bet. They're just a nice one to just sit and drink. Want to have a nice time, just relaxed. You're not really paying much attention to things. It's either. No, it's not Monster Hunter. I was tempted to say Monster Hunter because of. Well, at its best, Monster Hunter is a podcast game for me. You know, you listen to a podcast and you do the monster hunting. 
It's also a bit tempted by Fall Guys. Same sort of thing. Like, I know that Fall Guys is like dead hectic for some people. But actually, like, if I play it now, like, I sort of zone out and I just play it and it switches off my brain. So yeah, I think it's a switch off brain. Yeah? Hmm. Because there is something there. I've got more for vibes this time. I got really technical about like flavour profiles and shit when I did this written down. But now I'm just doing it on sort of gut feelings a lot of the time. Oh, that was pretty good. Eddie Guerrero just chucked Benoit out to the side with a head scissors. Man, like, so last week I started continuing where I left off on my last, last time I was watching WCW stuff. I like to watch Nitro and then break it up with the pay-per-views when they happen because obviously that's where, like, the big plot happens or more the matches happen. But, like, this is, like, peak wrestling a soap opera. But it's really high quality of that. Like, it's really good. And, like, there's multiple plot lines going on that you care about. Which, really, it's not how it is now. And it's not really how it was before, you know what I mean? Like, like, I, if you, if you think about, like, so you think about like 80s WWF, like it's so about the main event. To be fair, Crockett wasn't that bad for it. But, you know, like the way it's structured, there are ongoing plot lines and they all seem as important. I know like you think about it all being the NWO, but that's more a background fact. It's like Batman in the DC universe. You wouldn't say Batman was the main main character of the DC universe. I know, yeah, some people would say that. I wouldn't say that. I'd say he's a background fact of the DC universe, and everyone else is actually a protagonist, and he's just a thing that's there. Um, that is when Batman's Bruce Wayne. Dick Grayson as Batman was a protagonist. Well, co-protagonist, Damien. Man, that was really good. Oh, I kind of want to go reread them now. Oh, that whole... From Batman R.I.P. Through Battle for the Cowl up until when they finished Batman Incorporated. Really good run. Also, like, Justice League with, with Dick Grayson as the Batman of it. Really good. I actually really like it. And it's, it, it's a bit... Oh. Eric Bischoff talking about Roddy Piper. No one cares, mate. It's, um... Starcade when they actually do that one, isn't it? Yeah. I do like Piper. Oh well. Hmm. Hey, did I say? I think this might be Rez. I think it might be Rez. Rez is like the definition of a... Go into a bit of a trance and just play the game, but it sort of shuts your brain off and... In like a meditative way. Do you disagree? Yeah, it's that or like, like I say, when you play a Dynasty Warriors or you play any of those games which are like, you can sort of meditate to. You know what I mean? But I think we're going to use Res. Yeah. Mm. This is good. This is a very good good morning coffee. But yeah, it just feels like... Uh, it's weird. It's got no bite to it. It's not bitter in any way. 
But it is nice. Oh. Oh. Uh, I don't know. I, I turned it down so it wouldn't bleed through too much because I feel like that's a very good way to um, breach copyright with, particularly with litigious <laughs> companies. Yeah, I do. I think that's what that's that. that. Also, I worry this is going to be really quiet now because the phone's over there. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're going to watch Piper talk to the masses about how he's going to beat Hulk Hogan. Um. <laughs> Well, I don't think he will either. I think this is at the height of Hogan absolutely flexing his politicking muscles. That's what he did. Yeah. But I think it's it's weird. If you watch it, I don't think he was a good fit for WCW. Well, I know that the NWO is cool and all, but... All the young guys are the better part. Okay, one sec. Yeah, I know. No one's hitting each other, are they? Right. Um. Thanks for joining me this morning. I hope this wasn't too turret horrendously boring. Yes, I know, baby, baby. Right, in a bit. Would you believe I'd talk all that shit about the episode of Nitro I was on and I'd forget that it's the one where Piper reveals that Eric Bischoff is working for the NWO the whole time. After all that, bloody hell. That's mildly embarrassing, isn't it? Oh well, really good, really good. Okay, I really should re I recommend, like, if you've got like something that plays it, fucking WCW, it's like... Wrestling, but good. Anyway, bye!